Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. We hope you all are doing well. So now today we are going to discuss regarding the interthread communication with condition. Right? So we had already seen regarding the interthread communication with the event, right? Events was the topic which we have seen in the previous video only. Now today we will be discussing about the condition. We will be seeing about the interthread communication with the condition. Right? So first of all, let me quickly give you a revision that what we just uh, understand from the interthread communication. So that actually means that when we want to like when we when we just require two threads at a particular time when we see that there is some requirement and we want to use two threads at a time so in that case this interthread communication is the procedure that is used right let me just show you that uh, thing as well here um, okay just one second let me just show you that out fine this was the one and uh, okay so that was event right this was the event fine so here basically we had seen regarding sometimes one thread may be required to communicate to another thread depending on the requirements and this is considered as interthread communication. So when one thread wants to communicate with the another thread which has basically some requirements so in that case basically interthread communication is required. Right? This was the thing that we have already discussed. Now we will be discussing regarding the condition method actually. Okay. So the condition method. The condition method is basically the upgradation of that event object which is used for inter-thread communication. Let's say when you want to upgrade something. Okay, actually condition is a type of method which is used for the upgradation of that event object which is used for the inter-thread communication. Right? This is the whole idea regarding the condition method. So the condition represents some type of state change between the threads. When you just want to have some a uh, state change between the threads so in that case this condition is the method this condition is the function which is actually used in that case okay, so i hope that first of all you have got an idea that what is the interthread communication and secondly you have got the idea regarding the condition method and now it will be more clear to you as soon as we write out the program for this right so let's proceed on here Okay, first of all, what I would just do is that I would be importing out the random module here because random is a module which I'll be actually using throughout the program. So I just want to import that particular module here, right? After random, I'll be importing that time module as well. So I would just write import time, fine? These are the two modules which I'll be using throughout my program, random and the time, fine? Now, next, what I would just do is that I want to use out this function that is condition, right? So in that case, I can, what I can just do is that I can take the uh, threading module and from that threading module, I can in, like uh, import each and everything which I am having into that threading module, right? And we all know that how to just do that thing, right? So for doing out that thing, I can just write from threading. So from threading, import and asterisk. This is the procedure how uh, like, uh, how we just uh, import out each and every function from the threading module, right? Import from threading, import as right? This is the way how we just do that out. So I have just written that particular thing here. Okay, this is the idea. Now what I would just do is that I would be making out a class. Okay, so I'll be making out a class and then within that class I'll be making out the object, writing out the statements and using out this condition method. Fine. Now, basically, what I would just do here is that I would be, okay, let's say my class name is, let's say class name is student. Okay, student is actually my class name. Fine. Come on to a new line and here I'll be making out the function. So, first of all, the function is name. Okay, name is actually first function which I am making. So, inside the self is automatically passed. Self is one of the constructors which we have here in the class and objects. And as soon as you make out any of the method, or you, you can just call it as function as well. So, when you just call make out any of the function inside the class, so basically the self is the module which is automatically passed out here. Okay, you do not need to write that thing on your own. Fine. So, the self has been passed. Now, what I would just do here is that I would be writing condition underscore. Uh, condition underscore object dot acquire. I'd be using out the acquire function here. Now, what is this condition underscore object? So, for that, I would just come down here inside my main function. I would just write out my main function. And inside that, I would define out this condition underscore. Okay, I would just not define that inside the main function. Let me define it outside only. Okay, I would just write here condition underscore 
object and that is actually equal to my condition function which I have here condition method which I am actually trying to use out here right so I have just done that same particular thing here condition underscore object dot acquire fine I would just come out here I would just use one of my print statements fine so that print statement is that uh, let's say name for the um, name for the student name for the student is and let's say here I would just just write let's say a b c I just take out some random name okay let's say the name for the student is abc fine now what I would just do is that with the help of that condition underscore object I will put out a dot here and here I'll be putting out the weight function okay so condition underscore object dot weight this is actually how which we just write it so now here what actually I have done I had put on my thread into a waiting state okay fine come on to a new line and I would just write here let's say print and let's say I would just write, uh, write that name successfully okay is she okay that is um, successfully okay name successfully added let's just this is a new admission which has come on to a, a school and in that I just shouted the name that name for the student ABC so after that it has basically waited out for some time and then it printed me that name successfully added okay and now what I would just do is that as I have used out the acquire function above in the same way I'll be using out the release function and now I would, I would be just releasing it out so I would just write here condition underscore object dot release and I would put out the bracket like this okay so this is how we just made out the very first function fine now let me make out the second function here okay so first function was name and let's say now my second function is let's say um, okay let's say marks okay let's say this is the second function okay now what I would just do here is that for again I'll be starting with the condition a uh, condition underscore underscore object dot acquire okay so I just first of all used out this acquired functions to acquire some state so this condition underscore object dot acquire after that I can just use out one of my print statements that checking the marks okay whenever we just like uh, go in like uh, for taking any admission in a college or school so we just only always have a entrance test, test right so I would just write checking the marks okay checking the marks fine this is statement is completed now what I would just do here is that let's say we're taking a mod the random uh, that is time is equal to zero a function you can just call this time as a variable okay that's the reason that I've imported a time module above okay now here I'll be writing time uh, okay so time is equal to I'll be writing here random dot rand int Okay, random dot run int and into the bracket I'll be passing here let's say 1 comma 20. Okay, so between 1 comma 20, uh, some random marks would be actually cut. Okay, and instead of this time, let me just uh, write. Okay, so marks, let's say this is done, and instead of marks, let me make it out uh, a point, okay, the appointment underscore time. Okay, when we just go on to taking take any admission in the school. In that case, we just need to take out first of all appointment, right? Then you can just meet out the principal or the head of that particular school. So let's say this is the same particular thing, okay? Now I would just write here print and okay, just one another second, right here print and I would just write here checking the time, okay? Print checking the time and after that, I would just write here one another print statement inside that I would just write, it, write that time appointed uh, time appointed to you is okay let me calm down so that you are actually able to see so, so the time appointed to you is and I will just put out these brackets this closing and let's say pm uh, pm right this okay and I will just put out a dot here and after this I will be using out the format function and inside that format I will be passing out the variable that is time Right, so I have just done out that particular thing. Now what I would just do is that I'll be writing condition underscore object dot notify one of the functions which I have in this threading module right that I have just used out here and after that I just again use condition underscore object 
bot release. So above I have just acquired that. Now I am just releasing that thing here. Right. So that particular things I have done out. Now what's this next thing? Next thing I have already made this condition function. You already used that out. Now I'll be making the object for my class. Okay. Now I'll be making some object for my class. Okay. So let's say object for my class. Okay. What's my class name? That is a student. Fine. So let's say okay one. Let's say one is the name for my object and the class name is student and put out the brackets like this. My right? class name, oh sorry, object name has already been made. Now I'll be using my thread. So I'm making out my two threads. So T1 is equal to I'll be using here thread. Okay. So that is thread and into the bracket I have target is equal to and what's my target? So that is one dot and first of all i was having the function which is name one dot name okay my thread 2 t2 is equal to i'll be writing here thread in the bracket i'll be writing here target is equal to one dot and here i'll be passing the uh, another one appointment mm, let me come down appointment time okay appointment time my another function fine right? now i would just start both of the threads t1 dot start and after that i have t2 dot start right and now i would just run out my program here run and basically here this will be getting out the answer fine your uh, final output will be displayed onto this window only okay so then for the student is abc now basically after this it will uh, result be some uh, other things whatever we are actually having here okay so instead of this 20 let me just write it out here as 13 uh, okay, just one second. I just wait out the changes. Let me read on that thing. Okay, fine. And uh, okay, instead of this small t, let me just make okay. This one is absolutely fine. Okay, let it be like this only. I would run this once again here. Fine. So I just got that the name for the student is A B C, right? Now after that, this uh, name for the student is A B C. After this, it has it is waiting, right? So it is written at condition underscore object dot wait. So as soon as the wait is finished, it will basically uh, give me the second statement that is name successfully added right now after that it will uh, give me that checking okay add okay just one second let me close this once again here because i'm just going to make one more change here so this has been made as a change here and now i would just try to run it right so basically here we're running out the program just i just want to make one of the changes here let me just remove this and let me just write out class underscore obj Actually, this is the name which actually runs here. Let me just write that here as well. And let me write out that here as well. And we do not put out these brackets whenever we are just calling the function inside the target this thing. Okay. So let me remove out both of these. Okay. Now I would just try to run this here once again. And here we just get out the whole answer that is name for the object is ABC. Checking the marks, checking the time. So your time appointment appointed uh, to you is 6 p.m. Name successfully added. Right. This is the how. This is how it will actually run out the things for me. Right. So name for the student is ABC. Checking the marks. After that, checking the time. So time appointment appointed to you is 6 p.m. And at last, the name is successfully added. Right. So I hope that you have got the idea regarding the interthread communication with condition. Okay. This is how we just use our this condition method for writing out the programs writing out the things like this right so this is all for this video till then thank you and take care